Most people assume uh, that uh, presenters know each other, but uh, I've just met Catherine and Corey. How are you doing? Hart? Catherine Hart. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Wishful thinking. <laughs> okay, uh, we are honored to have been chosen to present this next award. You said. <laughs> when musicians get together to form a group, hopefully the result will be more than the sum of the individual talents. The five groups nominated tonight have all managed to fulfill that requirement. Their musical collaborations have enabled them to create their own distinctive sound. Here are the five nominees for the 1985 Juno for Group of the Year. And the winner is me. <laughs> no. Oh my God. Oh. She embarrasses me. Okay. Oh, you love it. All right. The Parachute Club. Feels good, I tell you that much. <laughs> I'd like to thank um, my manager, Bob Rags, and uh, my record company, seeing that I got three. Aquarius Records uh, for signing me, uh, Keith Brown and Terry Flood. Um, Capital Records here in Canada that distribute me. And uh, EMI America down in the States that have done a, a hell of a job down there uh, spreading the word for me. Um, there's nothing more gratifying uh, as a songwriter to have written something that you truly believe in and uh, and feel that your message has been received so I'd like to uh, accept this on behalf of all the people that share the same drive and, and self-determination and, and guts that I do thank you very much Corey Hart won single of the year for never surrender so I'd like to uh, accept this on behalf of all the people that share the same drive and, and self-determination and, and guts that I do. Thank you very much. Winning an award uh, feels fantastic. Um, it's something that you, uh, you know, always dream about achieving. And, um, you know, I was very fortunate to be nominated five times, and I'm, I'm glad that, uh, you know, I won on one of them. I never Surrender is a very personal uh, statement uh, that, uh, uh, that, that's very dear to me and, and one that, that means um, really represents my personality and, and, and my beliefs and, and going out and, and fighting for what you believe in. So uh, I think that it's touched a chord in a lot of people because uh, I think everyone wants to have hope and, and fight for, uh, for their dreams. No. Corey Hart picked up the single of the year, Juno, for Never Surrender. I think there's a new breed of musician in Canada coming out, and, and uh, I just think that the, in the next year or so, um, international people will see a lot more, you know, good Canadian music, and uh, I'm out there doing my best to spread the word. An important message about personal freedom. Hi, this is Corey Hart. Once you start to smoke, it's hard to stop, so think twice before you light up. For freedom from smoking now, contact your lung association. Hi, this is Corey Hart. Stay tuned for more of this week's top 20 video songs right here on MTV's Countdown. Hi, this is Corey Hart, and you're watching Video Hits. And before we play I Am By Your Side, I'd just like to say hi to Samantha. So, hi, Sam. Hi, Corey. Looks, talent, and a constituency of fans from his native Canada down through all of these United States. Bobby Columby visited the troubadour from north of the border for a talk about his life and work. He's only 24, and already he's made three albums in the last three years. Yet Canadian singer-songwriter Corey Hart has a maturity and an understanding of his craft that belies his young age. You know, I started making records uh, when I was 19. 
and uh, a lot of, you know, a lot of my uh, views on the world were, you know, a kid's view because I was writing songs when I was 18, 17, 16, and I just think I've grown up a bit, and, you know, uh, thankfully my lyrics have progressed, you know, with uh, my chronological age. <laughs> to me uh, you know, over the past you know 20 years has really shaped and, and it, it it focuses and, and uh, reflects what I write about Hart's last big hit boy in the box was written as an homage to another young handsome moody performer the late James Dean with whom Hart has often been compared for me it was just a reminder you know, not to, you know, close myself in and, and let this whole rock star thing, you know, get to you because it's, it's a myth and it's, you know, you're no better than the next guy, you know? When did you first notice that when you control your own destiny, you have a better shot of making it? Well, when I was about 14, I, you know, declared everybody, well, I'm going to make records and I'm going to sing and, and write them. And everyone said, sure, kid, you know, great idea. And um, the more everyone said that, the more determined and and how bent I was that I wasn't going to let anything stand in, in the way of that dream. It's no secret that you're a good-looking guy, but can't that in some ways affect your credibility musically? Well, in terms of uh, how other people, you know, view me, I, I, don't, I don't spend too much time worrying about it. And, and uh, I truly believe in my case that, uh, you know, my music will speak for itself. And I really don't have the energy or the time to, uh, to go around trying to change anybody's mind. I just do my, my thing. And uh, if they don't like it, you know, tough. Exaggerating. <laughs> Discover new fields with Corey Hart. Fields of Fire. Eleven powerful songs that cover a lot of rap. The Fire on Aquarius Records, Tapes, and Compact Discs. Now specially priced at all A&A Record and Tape Stores. Hi, this is Corey Hart wishing everyone coast to coast in Canada a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. He's writing, of course, and rehearsing and answering your mail. In fact, he wanted me to play this message for you. Hi, this is Corey Hart, and I'd just like to thank Video Hits for doing this half-hour special on me. I hope you guys out there enjoyed it, and I hope you have a great Christmas, and keep watching Video Hits. Merry Christmas, Sam. Valentine. Female Vocalist of the Year, please welcome, you know him, you love him, Corey Hart. Tonight, five very different women have been nominated for the Juno for Female Vocalists of the Year. They're different in nearly every way, singing style, choice of material, and presentation. But what they share is a love of music, a gift for performance, and a total dedication to their craft. I'm honored to present the five nominees in this category. The Juno goes to... Luba.